The mystery of methanol in beverages. Welcome to Versus Vault, where I dig into the hidden truths behind everyday topics. Today, I'm exploring something that's been making headlines for all the wrong reasons. The dangerous world of methanol in alcoholic beverages. Alcohol can be a cultural staple and a bit of fun in moderation, but there's a toxic twist that has caused tragedy around the globe. Let's dive in. What is methanol? I'll start with the basics. The alcohol we drink is ethanol, a clear colorless liquid that's relatively safe in moderate amounts. Methanol, on the other hand, is a different beast entirely. Also known as wood alcohol, methanol is toxic. Even small doses can cause blindness, organ failure, or death. Methanol is commonly used in industrial applications like antifreeze and fuel. It was never meant for human consumption, yet it still finds its way into beverages through either accidents or malicious intent. How methanol ends up in drinks. How does methanol sneak into what should be a safe cocktail or spirit? Two main culprits, improper distillation and adulteration. During distillation, tiny amounts of methanol can form naturally. If the process isn't handled correctly, these toxic compounds can slip into the final product. Even worse, some unethical producers actually add methanol to artificially boost alcohol content, often with lethal consequences. From counterfeit liquor in Southeast Asia to unlicensed operations in remote areas, methanol poisoning has cast a deadly shadow. Just one tainted batch can harm hundreds of people. The science of poisoning. Here's the terrifying part. The human body doesn't easily tell the difference between ethanol and methanol. When methanol is ingested, it metabolizes into formic acid, a toxic substance that attacks the optic nerve and other vital organs. Symptoms like blurred vision, nausea, and difficulty breathing can take hours to appear, which is why methanol is known as a silent killer. By the time you realize something's wrong, it might be too late. Just before I continue, our videos do take a lot of time to research, so a quick like would really help us out. Much appreciated. Back to the topic. Can methanol poisoning be prevented? So, how can we protect ourselves? First, avoid unregulated alcohol sources. If it's suspiciously cheap or lacks proper labeling, don't risk it. Second, governments and industries must enforce stricter quality control and educate the public. Interestingly, ethanol itself is used as an antidote for methanol poisoning. It competes with methanol in the body, slowing the formation of toxic metabolites. But this is a medical treatment, definitely not a DIY fix. Interesting facts about methanol. Before moving on, here are a few surprising facts about methanol. It's called wood alcohol because it was once produced by distilling wood. Methanol is used as a high-performance fuel in race cars. During prohibition in the United States, methanol contamination caused numerous poisoning deaths. How improper distillation leads to methanol in drinks. Improper distillation is one of the most common ways methanol contaminates alcoholic beverages. Distillation works by heating a fermented liquid, so the alcohol and water separate based on boiling points. In a well-controlled setup, the early vapors, called the four shots, are discarded because they contain methanol. Because methanol boils at a lower temperature, it evaporates first. That's why skilled distillers remove the earliest fraction. In unregulated or amateur distilleries, this crucial step might be skipped, letting toxic methanol remain in the final product. Shortcut practices and their consequences. Some unlicensed distillers also cut costs by using cheap raw materials that produce higher methanol levels, like improperly fermented fruits or even industrial chemicals. Without precise temperature control, they can't reliably separate methanol from ethanol. It's important to note that trace amounts of methanol naturally occur in most alcoholic drinks. Regulated producers keep these levels so low they're harmless. But in a sloppy setup, methanol can spike to dangerous levels. Why it happens more in certain regions? Methanol poisoning is most widespread where alcohol is highly taxed or banned, like parts of Southeast Asia, Africa, and Eastern Europe. Black market distilleries flourish in these regions, often run by people who lack the proper equipment or know-how. The result? Cheap liquor with a hidden, sometimes fatal price. A single shot of poorly distilled alcohol can be enough to cause serious harm or even death. Why would someone deliberately add methanol? You might be wondering, why would anyone intentionally add methanol to a drink? The short answer is greed and a risky misunderstanding of chemistry. 
Methanol is cheaper to produce than ethanol, and it can imitate the initial kick of real alcohol. Some unethical producers boost their profits by lacing their product with methanol, hoping buyers won't notice. The deadly cost of cutting corners. This kind of counterfeiting thrives where legitimate alcohol is expensive or hard to get. Customers often don't realize they've been poisoned until hours later. What starts as a cheap night out can end in irreversible damage or death. The tragedy is that many victims are simply unaware. They have no idea they're consuming something that can shut down their organs or rob them of their sight. Misconceptions about methanol. What's worse, some of these bootleg producers truly don't grasp the dangers of methanol. They think it's just another type of alcohol and don't understand the fatal difference. In reality, methanol breaks down into formic acid and formaldehyde, highly toxic substances that attack the nervous system, particularly the optic nerve. This is not a simple mistake. It's a lethal error. The bottom line. In the end, ignorance and greed lie behind these dangerous practices. Not all alcohol is created equal. Knowing your source can literally save your life. Can consumers test for methanol? Is there a way to check if your drink is tainted with methanol? There are some methods, but they're not always practical or foolproof. Field testing kits. Portable methanol testing kits do exist. They rely on chemical reactions to detect methanol in a small sample. Accuracy can vary, but if you're traveling in high-risk areas, these kits could be worth the investment. Then there's the flame test. The flame test, where methanol burns with an almost invisible flame while ethanol burns yellowish, is a rough DIY method. However, it's risky and other compounds can affect flame color. This is hardly a foolproof solution. Advanced testing. For precise results, labs use techniques like gas chromatography, but that's not something you can do at home or even at most bars. The simplest safeguard is still buying from legitimate regulated sources and avoiding anything suspiciously cheap or unlabeled. So there you have it. Ultimately, no drink is worth risking your health or your life. Stay vigilant, know what you're consuming, and spread the word about the dangers of methanol. Thanks for joining me on Versus Vault. Once again, please like and subscribe if you found this video interesting. Until next time, drink responsibly and stay safe.